I wasn't going to do a reaction video for the Pokemon Presents, but Joe kicked me out of the office, said that I should watch the Presents on the downstairs TV, because we've got one of them fancy TVs with a YouTube app on it, and react to the presentation. I don't usually do this because Joe and I share an office and I like to just absorb what's being said in a direct, a presents, whatever, and maybe sometimes help Joe out if he misses any piece of news like dates. So here I am in the living room surrounded by my Build-A-Bear friends waiting for the presents to start. I don't know what to expect. I'm really excited. Already had quite the interesting morning. There's been a lot of merch updates today. There's just been so much going on today. Joe and I were interviewed for BBC Radio 1, which was really surreal because we listen to BBC Radio 1 every day. So now I just wait for the presentation. I'm not going to have the video anywhere around because of takedowns and stuff. I'm not even sure if this kind of video is okay, but what I'll do is you'll be able to hear what's going on. You should be able to find the presentation somewhere else on YouTube. Just look for it in the search bar if you want to play it to see which bit I'm reacting to, but you should be able to hear which bit I'm at. I think that's everything I've got to say, so um, let's Get ready for the presents. Uh, here we go. Oh, oh no, oh no. Yay, Pocket Pikachu! Jet. <laughs> That's true, there that is Pokemon planes. Pokemon Mini! Pokemon Tetris! <laughs> no, but really, where's this going? This is such a cool history on staff. Pokemon! Pokemon shirts. Yay, Detective Pikachu! Where are we going? Where are we going next? Sword and Shield. They actually put the manga in and London!
I can hear Joe freaking out upstairs. The day before my birthday. Why am I already crying? In Pokemon Go. I'm nervous. Oh my gosh. What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's just do that as a look. Oh, it's Diamond and Pearl, isn't it? What about it? Oh. Oh no. It's Diamond and Pearl. It's Sinnoh. The will it be remakes? Diamond Shining Pearl this year. Oh? What? This is a tale from a long, long time ago. When the Sinnoh region was still only a vast wilderness. A certain village bustled with the comings and goings of people. While in the mountains and seas, Pokemon roamed as they pleased. Beautiful. It looks beautiful. What did you think? I think it looks beautiful. The events of this game unfold in the Sinnoh of old. The Pokemon will have a this class too, on them. Mount Coronet towers over the center of the region. And Oshawott, it seems they were brought to Sinnoh by a certain professor who encountered them while traveling around various regions. You'll set off on your adventure after receiving a first partner Pokemon of your own from this professor. With the village as your base, you'll the answer to this it's question like and more awaits you in this. The art style kinda reminds me of Skyrim Sword for the Nintendo Switch system. As Pokemon celebrates 25 years. We will continue to challenge ourselves and deliver new ways for everyone to enjoy Pokemon even more. Thank you very much for watching. That was the 
quickest 20 minutes of my life. Okay, so I have always said that I did not want Diamond and Pearl remakes personally as they weren't my favourite Pokemon games but I get why a lot of people did want Diamond and Pearl remakes. Personally I would have preferred it to have been a sequel or just a new Sinnoh based game with like a different story. But after seeing it and the style that it's in, I'm sold. I've always been quite honest that I'm not the biggest fan of when Pokemon games went from 2D to 3D and I would have still liked the top down sprite 2D. I don't know how they would have done it just to be 3D but kept that top down situation. But now that I've seen how they've done these remakes that's exactly what I had in mind the whole time. That is what I wish Pokemon would have stayed looking like that even when it went to 3D consoles. I think it looks fantastic. I played Diamond and Pearl again last year so it's still fresh in my memory. I am already in love with how it looks. I wonder how it's going to work with Sword and Shield if it has compatibility at all. And Pokemon Legends, well that was something that, I mean, it's another thing that people wanted. While they didn't say it was an open world game, it kind of looks like an open world game and it's set in Sinnoh. Some of the shots definitely make it look like Breath of the Wild type open area. I do wonder how open area and free roaming it's going to be. I guess a lot of Pokemon fans got what they wanted today from this. If, if I had to say two things that I hear Pokemon fans asking for a lot, it's open world Pokemon game and Diamond and Pearl remakes. Honestly, I'm blown away right now. That was, that was definitely something. Oh, and new Pokemon Snap trailer was also really cool as well. I'm gonna go back up to the office and um, see how Joe feels about Celebi being in Pokemon Snap. So I guess this is my reaction video, I hope you got the reaction you wanted from me. Let me know how you feel about today's news down in the comments. As always, if you like this video, press the like button, share with your friends, and if you haven't already, press the subscribe button for more Pokemon videos. I'll see you guys next time.